Hey guys, Patrick Phillip here at Effective Martial Arts HQ, and in this video, a full body strength training routine that you can do anywhere, anytime, with absolutely no equipment. Now real quick, before we get started, this video is brought to you by GrapplingSmarty.com. That's a company that I started during the lockdown, and it is the absolute best grappling dummy ever created because it is in a grappling stance. It could be seated, it could be supine, you can place it in turtle, you can work your bottom guard attacks, guard passing, top pin attacks, pin escapes, back takes, back attacks, leg locks, and literally everything else in between. So if you haven't already, get yours right now, only available at GrapplingSmarty.com. All right, so getting started here, I'm about to do my own workout and I'm using this shoot as a warm up. So if you're not yet used to resistance training with weights or machines, uh, this is really a good introduction using body weights only. You don't need any equipment. And this is a short routine. We're gonna try to get it done in about 12 to 15 minutes. And it'll, this will hit all the major muscle groups. We're gonna work our chest, our back, our legs, and our abs. So we have uh, the bare bones foundation of resistance training, which is super important for your martial arts training. So let's get started. A little bit of jogging to warm up. We're gonna do a quick warm up, about three minutes, jumping jacks here, uh, both feet together, and then jumping jacks with the hands, <sighs> focusing on the breathing, just getting a little bit of activation done, and you can do variations with this, going side to side, going front and back. We're gonna do a little bit of shadow striking as well, just to get the blood pumping, switching sides, changing levels, <sighs> and always breathing. Next, you wanna loosen up all the joints in the body, so, you can definitely uh, watch this video and take notes uh, to do the, the routine later, or if possible, uh, save this video and uh, do the training while you're watching. Shoulders back here, so you can definitely follow along. And this is a good introduction to resistance training. Super important, alternating back over here for your martial arts training. Strength is usually the first thing that we work on for beginners, very, very, very important. Left arm, big circles forward, still breathing, backwards, same thing, one, two, and three, right arm. <sighs> nice deep, deep breaths, and back, right here, both arms forward, so loosening up all the joints in the body, so regardless of your cho choice of physical activity, uh, alternating back, this is a tricky one for you guys, so one forward, one back, other side, same thing. Alternating here, going with the upper body, rotation, bending and arching, the back in every direction, warming up the spine and the other side. So regardless of your workout regimen or physical activity, you should always take the time to warm up and even more so hips here, big circles, as you age a little bit. Very important to warm up even more uh, when you are a little bit older. So this is something I've noticed over time. Left leg, let's swing front and back. A good target is if you can reach face level, breathing out every time. Five times, side to side, same leg, lifting the heel higher than the toes. Here, two, three, four, and five. Right leg, same thing. Always breathe. And five, side to side, right here. Two, three, four, and five. Plant both feet, trunk rotation, left and right, looking over our shoulder. This is my own warm-up routine that I use all the time. It's all the major muscle groups, very effective. And since it becomes a routine over time, you don't need to think about it, which uh, saves you some willpower. So right here, working on the crouching stance, working on the hip joint flexibility and range of motion, very important. Well, variation here, bringing the knees to the mat, easier variation with the fingertips to assist. And stretching a little bit more, shifting all the weight on one side, dropping the shoulder below the knee on the other. <sighs> Always breathing. Switch sides and drop. <sighs> Getting the hips up in the air, so still in crouching stance. Hips up, a little bit of stretch in the hamstrings. One more time. <sighs> right here, squat stance, very important. So knees right above the toes, hips, same height as the knees. Lower back, super straight, shifting the weight side to side, warming up the legs. <sighs> Pivot here, drop and stretch. You feel the stretch right here. For added stretch, you can look all the way behind. <sighs> Switch sides, same thing. Pivot and stretch and optional twist. <sighs> right here, back in the middle, shifting a little bit. 
So I'll try to give you some variations for each one of the exercises. You can definitely do this routine as is, or you can uh, switch it up and do it differently from time to time. So uh, starting with the abs, let's get started in 10 seconds. We're gonna do 50 second work, 10 second rest for each one of the exercises. So this will give us a nice uh, quick training routine. It should be done in 12 minutes. The goal is to go full body, 12 exercises, three exercises per muscle group, and get everything done in 12 minutes. So no excuses, you can do this anywhere, anytime, as long as you have a floor, it doesn't even need to be a mat. So get started with abs, with rocking in three, two, one, go. Rocking, knees to chest, <clears throat> keeping the spine round, one foot up, one foot down for added uh, difficulty. Try to bring one foot very high, rock three times, switch feet, knees are connected to the shoulders, and we are not grabbing our legs. But if you're challenged, in terms of strength in the ab region, you can definitely grab onto your legs. It will make it a little bit easier. But if you're a little bit stronger, challenge yourself. And if you're a little bit more adept at grappling, you could definitely add some leg dexterity as you're doing the rocking. So your feet are moving. Another variation is having the arms on the inside over here, and you can definitely switch the direction of your leg dexterity as well. Five more seconds. Keep going, keep breathing, and break. Next one, hip switch. So we're working on moving our hips from side to side, using our elbows as base on the ground. Two variations of this one, beginner and intermediate. Beginner variation, just move your hips from one elbow to the other, like so. Hipping your knees nice and wide apart, and your feet pointing up. Elbows don't move, hips move far from side to side. If you're a little bit better at this, add a twist. So you want to twist all the way in, bring one leg all the way to the ground, and switching sides here. Always keeping that one foot pointing at your imaginary training partner, which is represented here by the camera. 10 more seconds. Keep going. Almost over. When you feel the burn, you want to slow down the descent of your hips and keep your top knee very close to your chest. So you're working on your guard retention at the same time. Break, deep breath. Next one, candles. Working on the hip elevation. Very important for our grappling skills as well. Ready, go. Hips up and control down. And control down. For a little bit more difficulty, this is the basic variation, two elbows. Watch your neck, don't put too much stress on your neck. But if you can, work on a single elbow, a single shoulder variation. Using your forearm and your fingertips to stabilize as you elevate. This is a little bit more challenging, it requires a little bit of balance and practice. But it's a powerful variation, it'll be very useful for shooting attacks from bottom guard, be it up kicks or even triangles or arm bars, work on your attacks with hip elevation. Right here, and that's it for our abs. Already, three minutes, super easy. Deep breath, let's get ready for the legs. Very important. First one for the legs, double bounce squats. Bounce on the bottom, bounce on top. Bounce on the bottom, bounce on top, let's go. There we go. Perfect posture, most important thing. So watch my lower back. Make sure the lower back stays nice and straight. And got perfect posture. Lower back, upper back, shoulders pulled, and strong neck. So we're working on the thighs, the glutes, thighs, glutes, and calves. When we do that bounce. Keep going, keep breathing, always breathe. Whatever you do in terms of exercises, super important to always breathe. Five more seconds. Very good. And break. 10 second break only, catch your breath. Now we're gonna work on the wrestler's lunge. So one leg at a time, two variations, harder and easier. Easier variation, we go down, go up, switch legs every time. Touching the ground with our lead hand. Nice wide stance. Perfect posture every time, just like so. Looking forward, shoulders in line. For those a little bit stronger, switch both feet 
at the same time. Always breathe. Should feel a bit of a burn here. I do, which is good. And when you get tired, you can always downgrade back to the beginner variation, easier variation, but you keep going, you do not stop. Unless you've never trained before, and it's okay to ease into this routine, but in no time you should be able to do the whole thing. It's only 12 minutes. If you do it properly though, you'll feel a little bit of soreness the next day, which is a good thing, that's what you want. And break, that was 50 seconds. Deep breath, next one, dynamic stability. Working on the low position and holding it there. We're gonna do two times 20 seconds for that one. Ready, go. So we're low, squat stance, we're moving left, right, and go to wrestling stance, <sighs> moving, shifting the weight, forward and back. <sighs> We're breaking it up into two times 20 seconds, so you guys are able to have perfect posture the whole time. Hips low, back straight, strong neck, and break. <sighs> Deep breath, five second break, we go again. Ready, <sighs> go, again. <sighs> and you can do variations for this, do open steps, but try to stay low and look up. Have perfect posture the whole time. Good burn going on the legs. This feels great. Three, two, one, and break. All right, next one. A little bit more strength, a little bit less cardio. Let's work on our backs. First one for the back, drag forward. Working on the lats and the lower back. So arms flat, ready, go. We pull. Ourselves, bring our elbows to our rib cage and push. Working on the shoulders. Pull and push. Pull and push. Be careful, do not go too far with your elbows like this and then push up. That'll be a tricep exercise, which is not wrong, but you're not working on your back. This is the most challenging body part to work, the back, when you don't have any equipment, not even a bar or any free weights or machines. But it is important. Super important to work your back. A lot of people neglect it. If you're stronger, you can go arms extended, like so. Arms stay straight. So kind of like a lat pull down. Five seconds. You can start with this one, downgrade to this one when you get tired. And break. Next one, only three for the back. Elbow raise, the opposite of a push up. So we dig our elbows into the mat and we rise up with our chest. Beginner variation, go all the way down. And then back up. If you guys are a little bit stronger, do not quite touch the ground and rise up. Very important here, strong, round, superhero chest, contraction in the back muscles. It's very different than lifting with your abs and try to lead with your head, no. Relax your abs, contract your, mu your back muscles and keep your spine, your head, neutral with the rest of your spine. So you're working your back muscles and you're maintaining stable posture. Nice round chest. You should feel it in your back muscles, right between the shoulder blades. Only one more back exercise after this, and then moving on to the chest. Classic push-ups, but with some interesting variations for you guys. Three, two, one, and break. Last one for the back, slow fly claps. Super important. We're gonna go here on our stomach. Ready, spread the wings, thumbs up, slowly. All the way forward, touch all the way backwards. Again, it's only 50 seconds. High intensity, short and sweet. I'm gonna hit all the major muscle groups in the human body. If you just do that, you'll be training better than 95% of the population, having a good balanced strength training program, which will keep you healthy, strong, and you will be better at any sport or physical activity that you choose to do, including most definitely martial arts any type of martial art. Hold on top here. Pull the shoulders back, touching the shoulder blades together. Feet don't touch the ground, knees don't touch the ground. Head elevated. Three, two, one, and break. We're done with the back. Moving on. Chest, three variations. Upper chest, lower chest, and middle chest. First one, hips, higher than the shoulders. Ready, go. Hips, higher than the shoulders. We go nose in front of the fingertips and back up. Here, changing angles, nose to the ground, and back up. This is the harder variation. If you're a little bit less strong at first, knees down, hips above the knees, 
nose in front, push back. Same idea, le lessening the weight a little bit if you're just starting out. And you can definitely start with this variation, do as many as you can, and when you're tired, downgrade. But keep going, ideally do not stop, it's only 50 seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep going, five more seconds. One, two, and three. Should feel a nice contraction in the upper chest over here. Next one, do the opposite, keeping the hips low. I'm working on the lower chest, so pushing towards the bottom. Right here, I like to do this one on the fists. Hips very low to the ground, chin down, and rise up, keeping the hips low. For this one, a little detail, keep a slight bend in your elbows at the end, so you keep the tension on your chest muscles. Again, it's also possible to do it on the knees. Same form, a little bit easier if you do it on the knees. But same idea. Good contraction. Looking up as you rise, so arching your back. Do as many as you can though on the feet, if your strength allows for it. 10 more seconds. Five. And break. Sweating like crazy here, which is good, you should too. Last one, the classic push-up. Parallel to the ground, body straight, abs tight is a more common mistake. Fist, everything goes down in one block. And back up. Be very mindful of your contraction in the abs. If you do not contract your abs, it can look something like this. It looks a little bit sloppy, okay? So contract your abs, and if necessary, do it on the knees also. But keep that ab contraction going. You should have no curve. Curve in the lower back, no curve with the ab contraction. Very important. Only 20 seconds left. Keep going. Last few reps. Keep going. Push through. Don't be afraid to go to the knees if you need to. But keep going. And break. Good job if you did the whole thing. If you did, leave us a strong arm emoji in the comments below if you did the whole routine. And uh, if not, save this video, come back to it. Hope you took notes and you at least uh, watched the whole thing so you could do it on your own later. Okay, so again, we work with thousands of beginners uh, here at our school at Effective Martial Arts in Pointe Claire, uh, West Island, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And the first thing we need to work on with most people, unless they're previously trained their fitness, which is great, if not, we really need to work on strength development because this is kind of like building up your body, your tool for martial arts training so that you can be nice and strong, prevent injuries, have more fun, be more effective in your techniques. So it's just, it just makes sense to work on your fitness, strength and conditioning first. And there are other aspects to work on. We definitely want to work on uh, flexibility, endurance, speed, agility. And we do work on that in our program as well. But strength is the first aspect that you should work on if you do not have yet a uh, fitness training program that you follow. So, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, now that you have your fitness side, uh, check out this video for the fundamentals of the solo movements that you need to know to be effective in all aspects of hand-to-hand -hand combat. So those are the foundations of our white belt curriculum. Uh, so 15 solo drills that you must know and be able to move efficiently in grappling, striking, and wrestling. So hope you enjoy. Signing off, Patrick Flob here at Effective Martial Arts HQ. Thank you very much for watching. Practice well.